This is a fun experiment which involves blowing bubbles of carbon dioxide which sink as the high density of carbon dioxide and bubbles of hydrogen which float because of the low density of hydrogen. This is the apparatus we use, a Buckner flask. The flask is covered in tape uh, to prevent flying glass in the unlikely event of an explosion. We can pour in some warm water and dry ice to produce carbon dioxide. And this stopper and delivery tube can be connected to a hydrogen cylinder. The bubbles are blown with this small funnel. Uh, it needs to be quite small, no more than about two centimeters in diameter, which we attach to the flask and we can dip into a bubble mixture. This can be made using five cubic centimeters of T-Pol, five cubic centimeters of glycerol, and 40 cubic centimeters of water. Alternatively, use a commercial bubble mix, uh, but th these seem to be very variable and it's worth experimenting with the mix you're going to use beforehand to make sure that it can produce robust bubbles with these gases. To blow the hydrogen bubbles, We attach the flask to a hydrogen cylinder. And with a gentle flow of hydrogen, we can start to blow bubbles. It'll take a, a short while for the hydrogen to displace the air that was in the flask to start with. These, of course, float due to the fact that hydrogen is much less dense than air. And they can be ignited with a responsible assistant with a, tape, a lighted taper on a stick. It's vital, of course, that they do not light, attempt to light the bubbles while the bubble is still attached to the bubble pipe. To blow carbon dioxide bubbles, we turn off the hydrogen, place a small amount of water that's been warmed to a few degrees above room temperature into the flask, and add a few granules of dry ice, solid carbon dioxide, which will sublime to produce gaseous carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide bubbles sink rapidly to the floor. Once we've got the carbon dioxide going, it's possible to turn the hydrogen on again and try to blow bubbles with a mixture of hydrogen and carbon dioxide. With a little practice, you'll be able to produce bubbles which first sink and then begin to float upwards. This strange effect is caused by carbon dioxide escaping from the bubbles, making them become richer in hydrogen until they float. This may not be what you initially expect, as hydrogen molecules are lighter than carbon dioxide ones and might be expected to diffuse through the bubble faster than CO2 making the bubble become richer in CO2. However, what is happening is not simple diffusion. CO2 is more soluble in water than is hydrogen. The CO2 escapes by first dissolving in the water of the bubble and then escaping from the outside of the bubble into the air.